the the frame uh, I will show you later the frame have a special design that can fit the motor from 20 to 16 normal motor of uh, for 50 size daily but can go up uh, uh, can, can also fit a bigger motor uh, like a maximum motor for example a 2620 uh, and uh, very good uh, uh, when uh, very uh, strong pilot uh, need the high high performance uh, about the performance about uh, rpm uh, oxy always think about uh, novice and also about extreme we 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 really want to have a kit that uh, uh, can be uh, fly uh, from many many users then uh, about rpm we test uh, and then uh, our kit uh, in the 325 can easy fly at 2800 rpm very calm very precise long flight time but also for a uh, top pilot can easy go up to 5000 rpm and i assure 5000 is a lot the helicopter is really fast um, very special design was uh, dedicated for the CG. Uh, every Oxy have a special CG. We have our philosophy, and uh, we believe, and then we continue to believe that our CG position is very special. Uh, the helicopter is very fast, is precise, but is a kind of precise unbalancing between the super precise and stable helicopter and the very fast need that the pilot need then what we try to do with oxy helicopter is to find a compromise between the position of the cg to the best performance stable fly low rpm very fast very mimbo and very neutral in the rotation aileron and aileron and tail fast 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 early because this is what the top pilot one now. Um, now about uh, about the battery and the ESC. Uh, before battery, I told you the, the canopy is pretty big. The design of the frame is special. Then we have a very large uh, volume for battery. And uh, about ESC, we test many. Uh, we know that, uh, and we can confirm that uh, a 40 maximum 60 ampere is enough uh, to have uh, uh, any kind of performance. Okay, now let's talk about uh, weight, ready to fly weight. Uh, the 325 with no more electronics, pretty good electronics and uh, medium, medium uh, high level performance, uh, 6S uh, battery and uh, Scorpion uh, 2618 uh, servo, like I explained you before, micro servo, and the 60 ampere uh, um, uh, obi wing the helicopter fly, uh, the, the weight of the helicopter is one kg and compromise of the design and the resistance like for example we choose a, a six millimeter main shaft four millimeter uh, spindle and four millimeter tail shaft this compromise make the helicopter strong very strong in case of crash and super resistant in case of intense uh, 3d fly uh, our pilot uh, came uh, in Vietnam with me and uh, we was we was really surprised because uh, we was able to make uh, over 500 fly in one machine uh, no crash and the machine after this 500 fly at very high speed with crazy over speed over 6000 rpm in over speed we disassembly the machine and then uh, we don't find any wearing we was really surprised the belt was looking new the bearing was perfect and everything was like new uh, that confirmed the design the material and uh, and the quality of the kit um, then i repeat again one kg ready to fly probably somebody of you maybe can use a smaller model like for example i say before the 2216 maybe you can save some gram also little battery small battery like a 3s 2200 or a lighter esc whatever I, we believe that uh, the, the the average the average is uh, between uh, 980 uh, to 1 kg and uh, 100 gram this is the the, the the gap of the weight let's talk about uh, standard configuration i'm sure that everybody of you are there and then say okay which motor which battery which serve okay let's go through very fast let's get uh, the rasmus oxy4 thank you okay rasmus use a spin blade 320 in the standard kit scorpion motor 
2520, 1800 uh, kV. ESC is hobby wing 60 ampere. Uh, the servo in the cyclic KSD, like uh, the uh, servo in the tail, all micro servo. He tried the KSD Mini, but in the end, uh, don't find a lot of different. And we try to make the machine lighter. Uh, and uh, here, uh, canopy, please. You can see here the battery tray. Battery tray, like every Oxy, uh, Oxy 2, Oxy 3, have an elastic. Then uh, very easy to uh, install the battery, uh, very fast. Uh, no need to spend too much time and uh, very quick. And uh, you can see the position of the battery. Okay, about uh, the position of the battery, it's very important because uh, the, the weight of the battery is uh, the, probably the heavy part in uh, the helicopter. Then uh, uh, Rasmus uh, came in Vietnam, stayed with me over one month, and uh, we make a lot of tests. Uh, my, uh, my starting design, the battery was a little bit higher, and uh, the CG was a little bit higher was a uh, one millimeter higher than uh, the final kit. Because after Rasmus uh, tested this last configuration, that means uh, the CG moved down one millimeter. And also we give more volume for the battery. You can see here in uh, configuration fly with canopy. Yeah, you can see how much volume we can give now uh, inside of the canopy. And uh, Rasmus fly uh, 1, 000, uh, 1,350, 1,400 milliampere battery, success. One other thing I want to uh, explain <clears throat> about the main grip. Uh, I was talking with one pilot in the UK and he said, hey, why you make the, the um, opening, uh, the root of the main grip uh, six millimeter and then uh, you give the shim. The reason, every reason, uh, is the same as the battery. So many, so many blades, so many blades from 305, because of the Oxy-4 can also fly very well with the 305, high at speed, I like a lot, very good for small smack uh, um, fly. I repeat, from 305, 320, 325, uh, 50, 45, until 360 or 362, they have uh, so many different blades right now in the market. Then we, uh, we discovered that, okay, the, the, the screw M3 is uh, the standard, but uh, we discovered that uh, have a, a lot of different uh, root uh, design. Then we decided to go six millimeter. The, 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 the main grip looked so nice and light. And then uh, we add the two shim, uh, and you can, uh, you can use uh, the shim that coming with your blade, or you, or you can get uh, from us uh, any uh, shim need uh, for the different blade. And uh, we know that the shim help a lot in performance, then we keep using the shim in the main grip. Even is a kind of uh, pin in the butt to assembly, but I can assure you that they have a huge difference when we use the shim in the main grip. It's very important. About the rest of the kit, uh, everything is standard. Uh, standard main gear, uh, standard pulley, the one coming kit, uh, and then about uh, the head speed, uh, Rasmus uh, in the, the in the 325 machine with the 320, he fly around 4,100, uh, maximum 4,200, and uh, if we want to smack, and uh, if we uh, want to do a maneuver, uh, he go a little bit down, uh, 3,900, 3,150. This is the average for Rasmus. Then. Um, we, we, we spend a lot of time. We spend a lot of time to test many, many features, and then in the end, uh, this is this kit, and then is the kit that uh, you will get. I want to show you, I don't know if you can see, but you will see, uh, the, the, the tail blade. The tail blade, uh, maybe you see it look carbon, no, it's a technopolymer, but we make a special uh, fixture, uh, a special mold, and the skin of the, uh, the tail blade have uh, this special uh, rugness, look like a carbon. And uh, thanks to some other friend that uh, have a software to simulate uh, the fission and uh, the airfoil, uh, we discovered that this, and we confirm that this, uh, uh, this surface help in the fission and uh, make a much, much less noise. 
Okay, my friend, I think uh, this video uh, helped you to discover a little bit more about C4. Uh, I assure you that it's not, it's not all. Uh, we have a much more feature, uh, but I don't want to spend too much time now because otherwise the video become boring. Uh, very soon is Christmas. Uh, I will take my holiday. Uh, I need to relax and be ready for the release of the Oxy4 that will be after Christmas. Then let me wish you the best Christmas to you all and the Happy New Year. Oxy4 will be with us. Bye.